killing more than 90 years ago is known as Iowa's worst mass murder. And the crime scene comes alive once again, this time on the big screen. Two Iowa natives have produced a documentary about the case, and its debut in Cedar Rapids takes place tonight. KCRG TV 9's Diane Pathy was live at Coe College's Cherry Auditorium with more. Diane? Those two filmmakers are with us this morning. Scott, I want to introduce you to Kelly and Tammy Rundle, and they are the creators of this film. If you can, please tell me what got this started. Why did you even decide to create this film? And, and really, basically, what it's about for people watching. Well, it's uh, a historical look at the 1912 Villisca, Iowa axe murders. And we look at the history and the mystery of that story. But we also look at how the crime affected the community, both at the time it was happening and then down, kind of down through the decades, even to the present day. We got interested in the story when we saw Dr. Epperly actually on a television program in the Quad Cities in 1987. Later contacted the station, got his name, and that he was with Luther College. And then we uh, kind of dropped that in a folder for about five years. In 92, we started developing two or three topics, and the Villisca Axe murder was the one we decided we were going to do as our first documentary feature film. You managed to get some of the um, items, including the axe that was used in the murder, which people can actually view tonight. How has the response been? You went back to uh, the town and, and talked to the people, obviously. So how has the response been? The response to the film in Villisca has been very positive. Uh, we did a test screening there a couple of years ago, and it was positive then, so we expected it to be positive. Uh, not everybody came to see it, mm -hmm. and there are many people in Villisca who still feel that it's uh, perhaps not even appropriate to talk about the axe murders. But others uh, believe it's, it's legitimate history and should be explored in that way, and um, they're mainly concerned that the victims are given some kind of dignity. I know, Tammy, you said that throughout this tour, because you're actually touring a couple of cities, that there were some relatives that came out to see the film. Uh, yes, we had Bob Moore, Jr. that attended the premiere, um, and he, of course, is related to the Moore family, and also Adrian Graham, who is uh, the niece of uh, Lena and Ina Stillinger, two of the victims that were visiting that night. And uh, they were very positive about the film and uh, gave us very positive feedback. We were really happy about that. So far, has the tour been going well? It's been going very well. We've been very happy with the response and uh, surprised by the positive response by uh, film critics. So that's a big plus. <laughs> we're very excited you two are here. Thank you for joining us. We'll have more questions for you to come. Scott, we're talking more about this film coming up. Stay with us. All right, Diane Pathew live at Coe College this morning. The Rundles have been working on their documentary. Uh, preliminary research began in 1993. Velisca Living with a Mystery shows at 7 o'clock tonight at Cherry Auditorium. Tickets are $8 available at the door.